hey, I'm just want to let you know your woman's fucking channel's kicking ass and taking some fucking names. Hmm. That's good. Hey, hey, the object is monetization. fucking nation. Let that fucking YouTube motherfuckers pay. Pay, goddammit, pay. Hell yeah. Right. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, I'm jealous of you. You got fucking hair on the side. I don't have no hair. <laughs> Ain't that some I, shit? I got to shave pretty soon. <laughs> well, I can't. Listen, I can't even grow nothing up here. I'm not no fucking chia pet or whatever the case may be. <laughs> nothing fucking grows up on that motherfucker. <laughs> So, let me know when we want to go ahead and begin this fucking live stream. Anytime you're ready. No, you got to go live, buddy. Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> no, don't go live. You got to go pre-record or whatever. What the hell is she doing? See, she, she uh, fucking she, just... She, she went to the other part. room. <laughs> yeah, well, typical fucking woman. <laughs> yep. They, they, t they tell you to do something and you don't even... And tell her, can she please... Change your fucking name. You are not lunatic fucking froggy. No. <laughs> My God, she always puts it at lunatic froggy. You, you, fucking Roy don't look like a fucking frog. Heck no. My God, Heck. she's the damn ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with her. What am I going to do with her, Roy? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to figure that one out for the last 13, 14 years. God bless you, brother. God bless you. I'm, I'm giving you some fucking holy water through the fucking computer. <laughs> you got to be a fucking saint. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Go lay down, guys. Froggy, where are you? You got to put us fucking pre-record. Unless we're, pre we're already recording and she didn't bother to tell us and we're acting like a fucking jackass right Idiots. now. <laughs> That's a, that's a very good possibility coming from her. Hey, trust Hey, are me. we going live yet? Tanya! Just call her, hey, Titty. Hey, TT. <laughs> you you going to put us live or what? My Lord, man. Tanya! Yeah, she probably went off in fucking La La Land fucking uh, somewhere. She, she went into the kitchen. I told her the hot dogs are cooking slowly because they got to thaw out also. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm always in a good mood. Even when I'm sick, I don't give a fuck. I do, I do what I got to do, brother. Oh, yeah. That's the only way to do anything. Mm-hmm. I want to I want to see her do very well and get monetized. Uh, remember, I I when me and her when I got and trying to help her and everything else, she was at 541 subscribers. She's now at 794, and she when we started, she was at a little over 100 watch time hours. Yeah. Now she's five days behind, and she's probably sitting about 13, 1400 watch time hours. Oh, heck that's yeah. dedicated. She's dedicated. And I told her, I said, you stay dedicated, trust me, it will pay off. It well, will pay like off. I was telling her before, I, she's been doing, trying to do this for some time, and the uh, only thing is, she always let other people chase her off of it. And it's like, you know, you can't worry about what other people think. So you got to do what you got to do. You got that right, brother. And I have been pushing her like no business and everything else. I tell her, I said, look. The way I roll my business and everything else, I treat YouTube as a business and everything else. And would you let somebody come into your house and take something from you, or are you going to keep what's in yours? Yep. And that's my mentality. You know, why, why, why should she spend all these countless hours on other people's streams, other people's channels, all this other shit, while her channel's fucking dead and oh, everything yeah. else? But yet she put in all this time and effort and live stream and everything else and not reaping no benefits of it. That just... That, that, that's a half-ass backwards mentality in life. Yeah, it is. Say. And people will take advantage of it. Fucking right they will. You fucking right they will. I'm going to tell her. <laughs> fucking time. I'm going to fucking text her ass. Yo, put us live. My God. Mm. My God, I swear. Put us live. I swear. Mm-mm. I love her like a daughter, but she drives me fucking crazy just as <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah. It's funny because she's the same age as my oldest son. Ah. My oldest son's going to be 40 next year. I go all the way down to Kyle, who's going to be 23. So it goes from 40 almost down to 23. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. Mm. <sighs> it's all right. She, she ain't going to be able to get that text yet until she gets in and checks her phone out. Oh, great. So she doesn't even have <laughs> You know the funny part about this? We might already be uh, no, not because live. I, we're not live because I would be able to see up on the top where it's got the timer and everything else. Yeah. I mean, if you go into the stream yards, you should be able to put go live or something on that screen. I think it is. I have no idea. I'm not in the computer. Yeah, I know you're like, you're, you're like me. I just let these fucking kids do all the shit and I just sit there and I'm like yeah okay all right <laughs> the fucking live button well dad hit this I'm like well dad plus she's got to change your name you can't be yeah. lunatic fucking froggy you, it just just does not sound right heck no I'm hey, you Tanya all right uh, <laughs> guess what the old fucking men fucking are stupid we've been yep. live I'm recording this whole fucking time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Boy, you know, people are going to get the behind the scenes and shit, and they're going to be like, they truly don't know that they're fucking, they're, they are recording right now. Mm, that's all right. That's all right. That, that's the best so, part, though. <laughs> let's go, then. Hey, yep. I'm Lunatic Dad. That's Lunatic Roy over there. That's Tanya's husband and everything else. And we're going to, our topic today is stepfathers and fathers, uh, things that men go through that women have more say and have more uh, respect amongst the children. And we want to go ahead and debunk that and ask questions out there to everybody. So me being a father of eight and everything else, I can speak from my personal point of view is that all eight of my kids do go ahead and pay more, let's say, attention to my wife and everything else. With That's without a shadow of a doubt. Mama always, always, they'll listen to her. I mean, she gets mad. They listen to everything else. I get pissed off, whatever the case may be. It's like it just rolls in one ear out the other. Now, you've got, you've got people who are stepdads and everything. That is Lunatic Roy and everything else. He, he's going to go ahead and expound upon you that the trials or things that he may have went through that have sometimes it's tough for a lot of stepdads and everything that they have to watch out for and everything because sometimes people of the families of the other families or whatever try to make up shit or do shit or whatever the case may be that has no, yes, no, they no, do. Very, no truth in it so go ahead go ahead and enlighten the people lunatic Roy, my brother oh yeah they do because uh you get people out there trying to blame you um say you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing to your stepkids and all and i've been through all that already uh yeah still yet the step when you between the stepfather and the kids they try to listen to the father more than they do the mom at mm. all. And they, because uh, I don't know why, but mainly because the real father's not in the picture. Now, do you do you feel that by the real father not being in the picture whatsoever? Now, this this may not pertain to everybody out there or whatever. Every, oh, every no. case is case by case. It's not all the same. These are just our opinions. Lunatic Roy, my brother, and Lunatic Dad. These are just our opinions on this matter. So please take that okay. into account. I mean, now, it, it's hard to say which way the kids are going to go and all, but when there's, it, it's harder on a father when it comes to females because, like I said, there are people out there will try to say, hey, you're doing this here and you're doing that, and it, it's a lot harder when it comes to a female. And that's from a step-parent, correct? Yep. Now, a, a, a lot of times, uh, you know, I, I would ask you a question. Has there ever been a point in time, you being a stepfather and everything, a hell of a dad, just want to let you know, hell of a man and everything else. Has there ever been a point in time where you felt that you wanted to intervene disciplinary-wise and everything else where maybe Froggy, uh, Lunatic Froggy, okay, was like, no, back off, that's my territory, that's what mine my thing is it, it, sometimes that that can cause a problem that, that, within there, that a relationship. does cause a problem because there's times because uh there is times where they at, at the beginning they do want to step in and be uh, disciplinary 
but then there's times that they're uh, kind of slowly backing up. But that takes time for them to get out of the way, kind of, for you to actually discipline to keep the child. And a lot of times that happens where it takes um, the kids in a different direction because when you try, when you're from my age and you try to discipline them and get them to behave, as they would say, um, you're an old age. You, you shouldn't be, you know, because well, where we came from, discipline was discipline. You got their ass busted or put in the corner, the whole nine yards. And, uh, yeah. And, well, in Tanya's area, area you got to sit there and think, wait a minute, they're trying not to spank the kids and do this and do that. Well, now it got to the point where she, uh, okay, now you step, you do what you got to do. Well, right, right, right. And, uh, and, and, and it, it's right. hard to figure out which way to, how far do you can go with discipline when you have somebody in my area, my age area, mm -hmm. and Tanya's age area. It's a big difference between there. And uh, so you got, right. It, it gets to be a and, pain in the butt. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, I, I could only imagine. I could only imagine. And, you know, I, I, me and you are from the same era, which everybody knows. I mean, oh, yeah. Lunatic Roy and Lunatic Dad were pretty much almost spitting image and age of each other and everything else. And you guys don't need to know our fucking age. We're old, nope. okay? Whoa. We know it. We know it. <laughs> okay? But the, po the point uh, that I'm trying to make in and everything else is that sometimes when, when you have, say, uh, a father who he has his own child and the mother has her own child and everything else is that sometimes there can be conflicts in between to where it's like, no, hey, look, I, I, I'll respect what you're saying on how you want things done, but it's still my house. It's still the rules and regulations, because if you turn around and start treating them differently and you start saying a totally different set of rules for one and not yeah, for the yeah, other. Yeah. Now you got a problem. Now you got a rift problem. in the family because now you, it ain't only the, uh, having a problem with your fiance or your girlfriend or whatever. You have oh you, you care more about your kid and this one and the and the kids grow up. Well, you like him more than I you do me. And it, it gets to be a big complication. Yeah, yeah I could only imagine. Now it's not, I've been fortunate enough to have an eight of my own and everything else. But I, in my case, it's more or less, again, getting back to where I feel that the men, us men, get the short end of the stick. Because, you know, we're, we're automatically personified as we're supposed to be this big, tough, grizzly people. And we don't have feelings and everything else. But at Earth, to people out there, we do have feelings. When, when a, a child is hurting, believe it or not, we may address it differently. I know in my, my era and everything else, in Lunatic Roy's era, we dealt with things differently. If a kid came in or whatever the case may be and some kid punched them or whatever the case may be, I know when I was growing up and everything else, my dad would be like, all right, so what did you do? What did, did you protect yourself? Do you defend yourself or whatever? Nowadays, the parents will go ahead and fucking coddle them and be like, oh, I'm going to go talk to the mother and everything else. Me personally, some person goes ahead and hits my kid. I tell them, turn around and fucking nail them, period, period. I said, otherwise, the bullying is going to continue to happen and everything else with your children. I mean, uh, again, this is just lunatic dad's opinion. I'm not trying to tell well, that, people who watch this anything ways, different. That goes both ways, because when I'm Bubba for the longest time, it's uh, go call the teacher, go tell this person, and I, I, and I look at the boy and I keep thinking, nah, you got to, uh, actually, a bully's going to do what? And when you go, what you're doing right now, as you're, because Tanya was in a bad spot on that one, too. And the work, her, his workers was in a bad spot by telling the kid, no, you go tell the teacher and all that. And it goes, so you're, they're going to turn your boy into a narc? Well, that makes it worse because now yeah. they're, they're going to be after him more. Well, and by the way, people, narc was made up in my generation, the yep. word narc, okay? <laughs> that that means that you're snitching on somebody, okay? Oh, yeah. Just thought I'd let you know. Cause <laughs> some people be like, narc, isn't that a cop? <laughs> no, that's not a fucking cop. Nope. That's telling on somebody or whatever. Telling on somebody. <laughs> well, and then it's, this year, he finally happened. He uh, finally uh, nailed the kid for starting shit with him and all. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, he was the biggest bully in school. So the point is, is well, the bully is going to sit there either be, they don't want to be your friend at all, or 
is going to try to remake his name. But still yet, that solved the problem for the, in the long run. Yep, yep. And uh, a father or a stepfather, either one, is, is more of our masculinity that will come out and tell our kids, hey, turn around, pop that motherfucker, yep. or whatever the case may be. I mean, it, it's in us. It is just in us. Not saying that there ain't no women out there that are also badass, because there are some women out there that yeah, there is. You know, I, I wouldn't mess with uh, Lunatic Froggy. I don't fuck with her. Too crazy for me and everything <laughs> else. But, I mean, over a period of time, would you say that between our generation and these Gen Xers and Gen Zers or whatever the fuck Gen Alphabet they want to fucking become or whatever the case may be, would you say that they have gotten to the point of it's more or less like they want to sugarcoat everything. They want to go ahead and say, no, it's not my kid. It's not my kid doing this problem or whatever. And they don't do no investigating. They don't do no talking to and find out maybe the other side of something because not all of our kids are 100% fucking right sometimes they're gonna do shit and everything else oh yeah that, that that's that's just a kid's nature that's like our nature is trying to be a badass to show our kids what they got to do but a kid's nature is just as bad because oh we didn't do anything we didn't do it they, he, they just did it for the kick, heck of it and all mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's where the big problem comes in because you got to sit there and actually try to figure out who's lying and who's not you're all tangled up Roy oh you got the dog good job tanya we're doing a freaking live stream first you don't tell us that we're fucking live and everything else you let us just fucking go off in our window fucking dressing and everything else man oh man i don't know how you put up with her i don't know the guy god bless you 100 percent, brother now would you say would you say that when you're a stepfather what was the most time that you felt that you wanted to step in but you did not step in that you wanted to so bad to say something but you were like no nah, i'm just gonna zip it oh uh, almost every time because <laughs> that's just the whole issue i mean you got to sit there and, and like, like they always say you got to choose your battle when you want to go into it, something and all mm -hmm. because when a lot of times when the kids and the mom is arguing well back in the day Kids got their ass beat when you mess with mom. Period. I mean, it was that simple. And uh, and these days, it, it's when you're a step, a step parent, you gotta step back and, like they say, choose your battle. And all, uh, because once you get into it with the kids, then you gotta get an argument with the mother. Right, and, and uh, that causes a stress in a relationship and everything else, and oh, especially yeah. when you got. The two parents that one will bring one from him or and then one that you when you're together you make a child together oh, and yeah. everything else that's where you start getting a lot of uh you know tit for tat and everything else and it gets harder and everything else like i said god bless you step parents and everything else because you guys are stepping in for something that maybe the father is non-existent and everything else and if it wasn't for you step parents hallelujah to you guys because you know what? There's a lot of bad parents out there, men and everything else, and the stepdads and everything else. I definitely, definitely say, hey, look, if the man who made the child can't be a man to raise the child, then let another fucking man do that job. It, it, take, it, it takes a, uh, a real man to stand up and raise the kid. Don't make no difference if it's, if it's your own or somebody else's. Exactly. And, and, and a lot a lot of people fail to realize with step parents and everything, they don't have to go no. ahead and, and do everything because when they when you get together with the woman and everything else, you fall in love with her or whatever the hell the case may be or whatever. And you know, you're like, Yes, I accept everything that is a part of you because okay, you're in love with her. I, I get it and everything else. But there are certain boundaries and everything that a step parent does not have to do and everything else. You know, the good step parents are the ones that'll go ahead and try to teach you, try to talk to you, try to fucking educate you and everything else. But then it's up to the stepchildren to go ahead and take them teachings, yep. to go ahead and say, hey, you know what? This guy's really not an asshole. He actually is trying to help me out. Maybe I should open my ears up a little bit and learn a little bit. Because just because the father walked doesn't mean that the stepfather is going to walk too. Same. And, and and the kids are caught in between a rock and a hard place because they don't know 
you know, I mean, if the dad did walk out and has nothing more to do with them or whatever, but the stepfather is doing everything he possibly can, that can be really, really taxing on a stepdad. In my eyes, it could be really taxing and everything else because we got to fight. I mean, stepdads have to fight through so much because, remember, you got that other family, okay? Say the father is just a piece of shit and he's gone or whatever the case may be. But the family is still involved. His family is still involved. His still, still family is still involved. I mean, they're, they're still family. That's their blood where they came from at all. I agree. I agree. And I, I know for a damn fact, I know for a damn fact that, you know, like I said, I, I give shout outs to all, all stepdads and stepmoms and everything else. I mean, you know, this type of issue, I mean, uh, you, you, but see, the problem is that you see it always up on the news and everything else about, you know, that molestation and everything else. And, and it does happen people. I mean, it's oh, not it just, does. it's just not stepfathers or stepmothers or whatever. It's actually mothers and fathers and everything else. That's what the fuck they do. I mean, it does happen. It does happen. Now that's the evil of society and everything else, but I've got a man sitting right in front of me, Luna Roy. He's a stepdad and everything else, and he does everything he could possibly do. Now, it's up to people of, of, that he's a stepfather to and everything else to accept him for who he is and, yep. uh, and appreciate a man that is also taking care of the mother and everything else, being there for her. And it's like I said, when you get our age, it ain't about sex no more, people. Just want to <laughs> let you know. Let sleeping dogs fucking lie. The shit don't work anymore. We're too old. And everything else. I'm being jokeful right now. I'm being jokeful and everything else. But it's true is that when you get older like me and Lunatic Roy and everything else, we don't have to do shit. We nope. choose to go ahead and do, do that. We choose to do everything we do. That's right. Yes, we do. I mean, and you, you're doing a fine-ass job, a fine-ass job. And what, 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 what words could you give of wisdom to any uh, – stepdads okay stepdads in particular what type of words of wisdom could you uh give to ones that are like younger like 30 40 years old coming into a new situation and everything else tell them maybe some tips that can really help them well the, the that main thing is help when a step parent steps in even if he has his own kids and they she has her own kids the main thing is you don't treat one side better than the other you go you treat all of them equally because otherwise if you try to treat that's going to cause issues between the kids right off the bat mm. now that is your main thing at all because when you step in and all from the day you step into that system system there you have to be able willing to treat take their kids as your own period and right all. and right the other thing is don't worry about what other people say. That will get you in trouble to begin with. Because other people, it's, some people call it jealousy. Some people, I think, is just stup stupidity at all. And they step in and they'll say, they'll, they'll say anything they want just to see the system not work. Right. At all. Be That's where your main problem is going to be at. I agree. I agree. Because a lot of people might turn around and think that, you know, like I said, I will say it over and over again. A step parent does not have to be mommy or daddy. They chose to, chose be, to be. OK, when you got a father and a mother. OK, I decided to not pull out and get my wife pregnant. That was a choice I made. Hey, I said, yep. I want to be your father. I want to be, you know, you. I want you to be my daughter. I want you to be my son. Okay, that was a choice that me and my wife made. Okay, but for step parents, they didn't stick nothing in there to make that child, or no. whatever the case may be. They but just, they stuck their heart they, in there. They, they stepped, stuck their heart well, and their money, or whatever else that comes along with this. They and just stepped else. up and decided, okay, I'm into this relationship. Uh, they stepped up to be the father or the mother, at all. That's the main thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. They didn't make the kid. They just stepped up, decided to take its place. And ha let the kid, the kids have a parent that they don't you, have. You know, it's funny. Uh, way back in the day, I had one of my buddies tell me. He says, "You know, there's so many damn sperm donors out there, but there's so few great fathers out there." <laughs> and I was like, "So well said, brother. So well said." Oh, I yeah. mean, shit. 
you you can go ahead and have sex with a million fucking women, have a bunch of kids and everything else. But if you ain't there for them and you're not trying to teach them and you're not trying to love them and everything else, guess what? You're just a sperm donor. And I will take a stepdad over a sperm, sperm donor, donor any day of the fucking week. Any day of the week. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, what else we could talk about? Well, <laughs> hey, well, hey, hey much well, we could um, cover on that setup there. No, the and, and you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. And as as we always give everybody, we always say it's a half an hour show. Yep. We we don't we don't we don't do no. We ain't damn gabby ass women that'll go ahead and talk for fucking two three hours and everything else. That is not in our DNA. Nope. Do not attempt. Do not attempt. That's not in the old men's DNA. So oh, no. with further was, ado, when I'm on ahead. the the other day, I was on the phone. Time you're sitting there, and we was talking about getting my tax papers from the bacon factory. Yeah. And I goes, you know that nobody talked very long on that phone, do you? I go, heck no. I want to say what I got to say and get off the phone. That's yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I wish I can. I can have time to uh, have that with lunatic dad and be like, all right, you talk 10 minutes, I'll get the fuck out of here. I'm going out of here. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. My daughter, I, I did adopt her as my daughter, Roy. I just want to let you know. I did adopt her as my daughter. So without further ado, this is the old man's club. We got lunatic dad, lunatic Roy. We're going to go ahead and sign out of this. P pay attention. Please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that smack button. Go ahead and make sure, because we're getting time to closer to the 4K watch hours, closer to the freaking 1,000 subscriber hours. Make damn sure, because my daughter is on a roll. And for me, Lunatic Dad, I can only say, Come on, yeah! <laughs> you knew that was coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got something to say, Roy, at the end? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> nice being here. He said, my fucking ears, man. My fucking ears, dude. Jesus. He <laughs> hates that all the time when I do that. I, I, pay attention to that whenever I do that. Give me a hell yeah real loud. One day, Tanya's going to have his volume up real loud in his ears, and I'm going to do that, and he'll be like, God, I hate you, man. <laughs> well, it's gotten a little short, I guess. No, you're not short at all. She, she's got over 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Oh, no. Well, first 15, we was, didn't even know we was live. Yeah, well, hey, and <laughs> don't that's... Don't worry. I know how to edit. Oh, that's she's okay. going to edit. I'm no, we want... No, no, that's we... going to be the best part of it. Cause yeah, no, yeah. Leave that alone. Are you yeah. nuts, girl? <laughs> that's the best Man, part. Man, that's cause... fucking gold. Well, we I'm like, they don't even know they're alive. <laughs> you got to think about and stuff. And we're still live right now, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> Froggy, froggy, fucking ribbit, ribbit, and everything else. Stop recording uh, now.